heavenly vision. Proverbs 29, let's read verse number 18 together. Yeah. Amplified, listen. Where there is no vision, no revelation of God and His Word, people are unrestrained. What it means is people are not controlled. People are not the way they should be as the Word of God gives them. Vision prescribes your life's pattern. Prescribes how you dress, what you eat, what you, what you, how you speak. You don't talk like everybody because you have a vision for your life. You don't live like everybody because you have a vision for your life. A man of vision does not waste resources. A woman of vision does not waste time. Doesn't waste resources. Vision makes you important even in a place where there is waste. In a place where there is no value. Vision gives you value. We live our vision. Greener pastures is not a place. Greener pastures is opportunities. Greener pastures has to do with unseen, undiscovered opportunities. Greener pastures is locked up in that. So make a decision in your life. In your mess, you will not be the mess. In your pain, you will not be the object of it. In your pain, you will be the healing. In your mess, you will be the solution. And when that happens, you live a life of greener pastures. People want to go to a better job, a better pay. That's fine. But if that has always been your constructive way of improving your life, you don't have a perfect vision of your life. If you do anything in pursuit of your vision, ensure it's in the right concept. That's the heavenly vision. Where you lose, this is your name. You lose your name, you lose yourself <coughs> for the vision. For the purpose which God has called you. And this is what your mind should be in. Your mind should not be in a person. Your mind should not be in an organization. Your mind should be in the vision. Turning many from darkness to light. From the power of Satan to the power of God. And that they should receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance so this is the vision of your life the heavenly vision yes you may have a desire to be a worship leader you may have desire to be a scientist doctor or whatever but this is the heavenly vision so how do we go about this vision in the midst of this how is your vision halted in the midst of this how is your vision affected everyone is affected but how is yours affected? There are opportunities here that to change your life. I'm not trying to change your mind if you want to go and get opportunities from elsewhere. But weigh your decisions based on reality. Weigh your decisions based on truth. Okay. When Jesus was walking on the face of the earth, he was not in our days. But he made the most out of his day. We are making 
the most out of our day and our children will make the most out of their day. I pray for our children that their eyes will be open to see the opportunities that lie ahead of each one of them. That they will grab those opportunities in the name of Jesus. That they wouldn't sit somewhere and say the life has changed. Oh how things has changed. We are not like our mama's days. We are not like our papa's days. We are not like our uncle's days. Our days are so different. They wouldn't see it that way. They will see it. We are in our day. We are heavenly avengers. We are sa saviors coming out from Mount Zion. And we are judging the mounts of Esau. And the kingdoms is the Lord. Give them the eyes to see. In Jesus Christ's name. And I pray for the parent that they will cooperate. They will cooperate. That daughter, you are in the right place. Son, you are in the right place. Seek the face of the Lord. And he will show you what to do. I pray for the parents to cooperate during this time. I pray that you will demonstrate your wisdom upon these families in Jesus Christ's name Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Holy Spirit